Hi there! Were you able to solve this primary 5 math problem sum on fractions? Let's take a look at the question. George had some cards at first. He gave one fifth of his cards to his brother and one quarter of the remainder to his neighbour. After that, George bought 77 cards and had a total of 233 cards in the end. And we are supposed to find the number of cards that George had at first. Okay, so this problem sum on fraction sounds pretty simple. There's only one person involved, okay, George and George alone. And there's only one item that we're dealing with, and it's the cards. Yeah, until George started giving away his cards to his brother and his neighbor and then buying some cards, and it starts getting a little bit complicated. How would you go about solving this question? Let's try to draw the model, okay? We start by drawing a bar of any length to represent the total number of cards that George had at first. Okay, so this is my model over here. Now, it's time to ask ourselves the classic question. What can we tell from the question? We know that whatever the number of cards that George had at first, he gave one fifth of his cards to his brother. Okay, so what this means is that out of a total of five units, he gave one unit to his brother. So far so good? Now, what else do we know? After giving his cards to his brother, he actually gave one quarter of the remainder to his neighbor. Okay, So here, we need to take note of the phrase of the remainder. And this is actually a test as to whether we know the remainder concept. So we have to be careful that this one quarter over here okay, refers to the remainder instead of the total number of cards. Looking at the model that we have, can you find the part that represents the remainder? It's actually this part over here. And because it has already been divided into four parts, okay, there's no need to divide it further or anything. So what we need to do is just to take one part out of these four parts okay, to give it to the neighbor. Alright, after George gave his cards to his brother and his neighbor, there must be some amount of cards left, correct? So we label that in our diagram. Okay, so this is a portion that is left. Then what happens after that? Okay, he bought another seventy-seven cards. Let's add that in. And finally, we know that the total number of cards in the end was two three three. Okay, so two hundred thirty-three would refer to all these cards that he was left with, plus the seventy-seven cards that he bought. Okay, so by looking at this model. Can you now figure out how to solve the problem sum? By looking at the known parts in the model, we should be able to tell that we can find the value of these three units over here by taking 233 minus 77. Correct? So this gives us a value of 156. And since we know three units equals to 156, we can move on to find the value of one unit by taking 156 divided by 3 which gives us 52. Now, do you remember what we are supposed to find? Okay, We are supposed to find the number of cards that George had at first. Initially, before George bought these extra cards over here, he had 5 units. Correct? Since we know that 1 unit equals to 52, to find the value of 5 units, all we need to do is to multiply 52 by 5, and this gives us a final answer of 260. Problem solved. Thank you for watching and we hope this video helped.